Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, To our beloved lecturer Dr. Nurhati Binti Hussein uh, Today we're going to presenting about research proposal Effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance Okay, first of all, my name is Anis Rehana Binti Abdul Qadir Okay, next uh, For the research background uh, Internet is a large computer network created out of thousands of interconnected networks that support a whole range of services such as electronic, file transfer protocol, database access, and many others. Young people focusing on students get carried away once they log on the internet. Internet will probably ruin, ruin the user's life if they are addicted to it. Okay, next, problem statement. True, there are many benefits linked to internet use. There has been a concern regarding the risk associated with internet overuse. Once it's become an addiction, they will be affected by their lifestyle and also academic performance as well. The statement clearly show that the internet affects the student's result. Okay, thank you. I'll pass the presentation to the next presenter. Thank you. Objective of our study first is to identify the frequency of internet use among the students. Second is to examine the effect of internet addictions on students' academic performance. And lastly, to find out either the male or female students are more addicted to the internet. Uh, now let's move on to the research question. First is... Uh, what is the frequency of internet use among the students? Second, how useful is the internet to students in their academic activities? Third is, do the internet influence the students' academic performance? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Professor Madya Dr. Nahayati Binti Hussein. My name is Aina Ashura Binti Muhammad Zambri and uh, the uh, title of our research proposal is Effect of Internet Addiction on Students' Academic Performance. So today I'm going to continue uh, present about the significance of study and uh, the conceptual framework that our group did. So basically, this is the significance of study. So uh, the the significance of study, this uh, uh, the findings of this study will benefit students on how to overcome their addiction caused by internet usage, and uh, it also will help students on how to manage their time when using the internet because nowadays students tend to spend more time on using internet without no without knowing on how to manage their own time so this is also will help them to minimize their time to connect with the internet besides the students can find out the solution on how to avoid being too addicted to the internet especially when it comes to social media and online games so uh, during this uh, pandemic so basically uh, students tend to spend more time uh, on social media and online games so basically they they forget how to do how to do their homework how to do the assignments so it's very important uh, for we to do this research so therefore lecturers can give some motivation to students that have been addicted to the internet and it also will help students to have a healthy lifestyle when they know their limit on the internet apart from that the findings can identify the difference between male and female students addicted when using the internet. So next, we move to the conceptual framework. So this is the conceptual framework that our group did. So for the dependent variable, which uh, dependent variable, uh, dependent variable, it must depend on the independent variable. So basically, our dependent variable is effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance. And our independent variable that can stand alone, uh, that can affect the effect of internet addiction, which uh, there are three of them, which are the first one is academic performance decrement. The second one is classroom achievement norm and the third one is health issue. So basically these three independent variables 
will uh, affect the effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance. So that is all from me and thank you. Next, I will proceed to the hypothesis for our research proposal. There is three uh, hypotheses for our research proposal. Firstly, is there is a relationship between the academic performance decrement and the effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance. Secondly, is there is a relationship between the classroom achievement norm and the effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance. Thirdly, is there is a relationship between the health issues and the effect of internet addiction on students' academic performance. Next, I will explain about the population and sampling for our research proposal. For the population, the population of our study was comprised uh, of undergraduate students, UIT and Puncak Perdana Campus. The population is generally regarded as something abstract that cannot precisely measure in earnings a study. As a result, the sampling method involved a small sample usage. For the sampling, the type of sampling used in this study is intended sampling, which is purposive sampling. It is a technique taken by the respondents to take into account particular consideration. The considerations considered uh, in this study are the respondents of the selected study that can provide complete data uh, on this study. According to FLIC 1998, uh, the selection of respondents for uh, qualitative study should be based on suitability of the uh, subject being studied. Therefore, uh, we have taken the respondents from among UIT and Puncak Perdana students that come from the various type of causes. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Diana and I will continue on data collection. The method used in data collection is through the online questionnaire. Our research question created by using Google Form and will be disseminated through the social media platform which is WhatsApp. About 25 questions will be answered by each of the students that consists of diploma and degree students. The question consists of demographic, open-ended, closed-ended, and Likert scale question. From the survey, we will be able to collect various data regarding the student lifestyle, including the student age and gender. Next, for the research instrument, we use a researcher made up questionnaire checklist to gather the data needed for the respondent profile. The researcher questionnaire serves as a guide for formulating questions related to the research topic. The draft questionnaire was drawn up on the basis of the researchers' reading, previous studies, professional literature, published and unpublished thesis relevant to the analysis. By using this instrument, it is allowed to obtain valid responses from the respondent.